Qualcomm managed to meet earnings expectations in the quarter, but its gloomy forecast stole investors' focus away. The company's revenue forecast for the third quarter fell short, signaling that the demand for smartphones remains slow. Qualcomm CEO Cristiano Amon blamed the results on a tough environment, and the company says it's not see, has not seen a strong sales recovery in China. Joining us now to break it all down is Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Hey, Dan. That's right, Rochelle. This is a kind of a continuation of the kind of commentary and results that we've seen from other chip makers, and not necessarily in the mobile space, but from Intel, AMD, uh, both of them reporting earnings uh, that were basically just slammed because of a decline in consumer interest in purchasing goods. Uh, that has to do with the PC market. Qualcomm is on the smartphone side of things. They also said they were hit by a customer that makes purchases in China on modems. Hint, hint, that's likely Apple. Uh, but, you know, when you look at these numbers or, you know, uh, revenue down 17 percent year over year, uh, if you look at the segment results, handsets, uh, revenue is down 17 percent. Uh, Internet of Things was down 24 percent. The only bright spot here really is automotive. And that is a small portion of the amount of revenue they bring in, 447 million compared to the 6.1 uh, billion that they bring in uh, through handsets and the 1.3 billion they bring in uh, through IoT. So I have a feeling this is something we're going to continue to talk about. What does this mean for handset makers in general? Well, uh, Samsung obviously was running into trouble because of a decline in memory prices. That's not necessarily related to its own handsets, but you can imagine that would be a problem with its own handsets as well. As far as Apple goes, I mean, they report later today, and some analysts are saying that there's going to be potentially uh, a beat on the expectations. But for the upcoming uh, quarter, the third quarter, they're expecting a miss on guidance, perhaps. You know, Dan, it's interesting. And as they were talking on the call, of course, there were the AI and models mentions there, mm -hmm. as well as we've heard through all of the chip companies at this point in time in their earnings, but also saying that this is the best product roadmap in history and strategic customer relationships across multiple industries um, that they've had in quite some time. Is the street buying that narrative right now? No, not right now, uh, if you look at the, the, the share prices. But I think that, you know, this is kind of a issue that when, when you look at the chip companies themselves, they're basically trying to run down their inventory mm. uh, and just make sure that uh, they're cleared out. And once they do start getting the demand back, they'll be able to, you know, just ramp back up and provide it. Uh, but I think, you know, when it comes to the broader discussion with AI, that is a little bit further out yeah. for some firms. Um, you know, Intel was discussing AI, AMD discussing AI. NVIDIA is really the, the big 800-pound gorilla in the room when it comes to that segment. Qualcomm is getting into there. Uh, obviously, there's AI on your smartphone, so they do have AI components that they build into their chips. Um, but I think the, the larger conversation around that is still really in NVIDIA's court. Just lastly, while we do have you on this, and, and of course, noted history between Qualcomm and Apple. Uh, now Apple is really taking more of that production under its own helm and, and trying to kind of vertically integrate that. But is there anything, I guess, still from Qualcomm's results in the handset division that can tee up what we might expect from Apple? Yeah, the uh, the modem uh, discussion that they had, that that decision to not purchase or hold off on purchasing modems, mm. um, you know, that's what Apple uses, right? There was all this discussion about how Qualcomm was going to lose billions uh, because Apple is ditching them. They want to build their own modems. That's, right. you know, what Apple's been doing, uh, as you said, vertically integrate um, across the board. They haven't been able to do that yet mm. with their modems. And so that kind of uh, issue is what also impacted Qualcomm. So, you know, they're aware, investors are aware that Apple's going to leave. Uh, I just don't think that they were expecting a slowdown in purchases uh, at this point. Eventually they will leave. They're still a customer though. Right. Uh, and they just weren't expecting that in this quarter. Really interesting. All right, teeing up, of course, what's later to come today in Apple's earnings results. Yahoo Finance is on Dan Halley. Dan, thanks so much.